Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Alachot when one finds a mistake in the Sefer Torah. In Simchat Torah, we borrowed a uh, Torah from another shul we were using to read, and we actually found a mistake, which the first one was all right, then a second mistake, and that was a problem. The letter was totally erased. So what are the halachot in such a situation? So there's many, many factors involved. We have to show we have a few shirim on the topic. First of all, if there is a mistake found in the Sefer Torah, a letter, a word missing, letters are uh, confused, instead of an aleph, an ayin, etc., is the Torah reading acceptable or not? Can one read from such a Torah? So it's not so simple. One would say, of course not. It's a puzzle Sefer Torah. There's a machloka in the Rishonim. The majority, the majority of the rabbis maintain that such a Torah cannot be used for Sefer Torah, and one must repeat the Torah reading. Whatever they read till now is just not acceptable, and one must read again. However, Miktsat Poskim, some of the Poskim do say, the Rambam in his uh, Tshuva, the Maharal, the Maharil, Ran, and others, that actually the Torah is acceptable. The Rambam is interesting because in the Mishnah Torah in Perak Yud and Hechot Sefer Torah, he actually writes that the Torah reading is not acceptable, but in his letters he, write, he writes that it is. Some try to make sense what happened. The Rashba says that earlier on in his letters, that's when he wrote it's acceptable, but later on he changed his psak in the Mishnah Torah and he wrote that it's unacceptable and therefore one would have to read again. Of course, the Rosh was understanding the Ber HaGola in Yoridei Reish Ayin Tet notes the contradiction in the Rambam as well. And the Kesa Mishnah, Mag Mishnah also noted and they give different answers. Some want to say the, the Ber HaGola writes that the Rambam in his letters, is talking about the mitzvah of Kriyat Torah, right? Reading from the Torah, it's a rabbinic mitzvah. One can read from the Torah where there's a mistake. On the Mishnah Torah, it's talking about the mitzvah of writing a Sefer Torah. Writing a Sefer Torah is a biblical mitzvah, and there, to fulfill the mitzvah of writing, each one writing his own Sefer Torah, the Torah must be complete, in, in any imperfections, any letter that's not there, rubbed out, that takes away from the mitzvah of writing a Sefer Torah as opposed to reading, one could in fact read in such a Sefer Torah. Kesef Mishnah writes that the Rambam in the letter, in his letters, in his tshuva, is talking about where with the Avad there is no other choice, while in the Mishnah Torah is writing where there is a choice. So there's a few ways to deal with the discrepancy in the Rambam. Be that as it may, the majority of posts can maintain that one cannot read in such a Sefer Torah, while some reshown and maintain that one could read in a Torah and that it is an acceptable reading. So that's an overview of the Shitot on how do we view such a Kriya. So we just read in the Torah, everyone agrees you want to have a perfect Torah when you read. That's ideal. But now we read 30, 40, 50, 60 Psukim, and now the question is what to do. Most Rishonim say, most of Rabbis say this was not a halachic kriya. What you did was not legitimate reading, unintentional of course, but it was not a kriya. While some maintain it was a legitimate kriya, what do we do with this now? Now that we see, when this quandary, where many Rabbis say it wasn't a kriya and others say it was, what do we do? Next year we'll explore halachalem ase. Shalom.